Hey guys, Jeremiah's Wilder Archery. Hey, this week I want to talk to you about using your sight the right way. You know, a lot of these sights have what they call first, second, third axis, which means we can square the sight properly to the bow. The problem with that, if you don't know how to use that properly when you're making some of these challenging, difficult shots on these steep angles, you're still going to miss. So this week what I want to do is show you the proper way to make some of these tough shots on these steep angles. Number one is you don't ever want to draw your bow directly at the target. What that's going to do is cause your front arm to be out of alignment. And on a downhill shot, it's going to cause you to hit high. If you draw your bow directly on an uphill target, it's going to cause you to miss low. So if you're experiencing some of these problems, it can start with your alignment with your body. The next thing is making sure you trust your level bubble in your sight. You know, a lot of these new sights have what they call first, second, third axis adjustment, which is making sure that this level bubble is squared truly to the bow and to the gravitational pull of the earth. You really gotta trust your bubble on some of these shots. So what you wanna do if you're gonna try to make one of these shots is you actually wanna draw with your bow square and level. Make sure your hips are square on the heel and then use your hips to come down to the target. What that's gonna do is cause this shoulder and this arm to be in line with your body. So here I'm gonna shoot a shot here and kinda of see what it does. Okay guys, August 6th, we're gonna be having the Hoyt Test Drive event. You can come in and shoot a boat and enter in to win this Hoyt truck. We're also gonna be having some great prizes and some giveaways. So make sure you put it on your calendars. August 6th, you do not wanna miss it. Make sure you get into Wild Arrow Archery. You know that afternoon wind that you get here at Deer Creek? Well, it's actually a good thing for walleye fishing. It's been pretty windy today. It's calmed down just a little bit, but not too bad. Let's find out though that recreation forecast now by turning it over to the guys in the weather department. 